Hey guys, how you doing? It's Oscar. Hey, I'm doing a Shave of the Day recap here with, um, if you saw my mail call post yesterday, it's with the materials I got yesterday in the mail. Um, they actually came a couple days prior, but I just got a hold of them, was able to open them yesterday. So, um, first was this, um, this pack, this sundown package, package from, from Douglas and Fran, Phoenix Artisan and Um, I, thank you. Douglas and Fran, thank you um, for for letting me get a hold of this, and um, and it came with uh, obviously the soap aftershave deodorant aftershave balm, which is the sample, which is just up here on the on the shelf. But um, in reading, he has a uh, kind of a description of everything that he put that he put in that Douglas put into the package with. Uh, with everything and he talks about you know I really like what Douglas is doing with trying to maintain um, you know the nostalgia of a lot of the software and the hardware in in the the shaving game and uh, you know uh, he posted something about maintaining our history of preserving our history with things like the uh, the Alta 11 for the Alta Innsbruck and the and the cold spices for the old spice and you know I even the the one one two three five for the um, you know, forty-seven eleven, and now this for something for Sun Up. And honestly, I had never heard of Sun Up until um, until Douglas just posted about it, and it just falls into that realm of, of trying to keep, you know, trying to keep the nostalgia alive and the appreciation that he has. And 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 I I am I've started to share in that appreciation for all things nostalgia. Um, that's kind of why I even got into this game. You know, we talk about saving money, but um, the nostalgia of it all, and. Uh, is is really what has attracted me more than anything, and uh, this this sun up is no exception. Um, you know he kind of updates updates his ingredients and 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 stuff to uh, to to benefit us now, um, but just the fact that you know there's a nod, there's a nod to that, there's an homage to all that nostalgia that I really really appreciate for one. So um, again, thank you for letting me be a part of this, and um, I use this today. So. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, when I opened it and put my nose on it yesterday, um, and he listed it as his first, under the scent, very first, un under his scent description is talc. Um, it's that powdery talc. And if, if you don't like talc, then this isn't the product for you. Um, or if you can deal with it um, as it dies down, then, then you know, just keep that in mind. But talc is, is going gonna, is gonna to come out first. Again, scents being subjective. Um, that's what I got first, and that's what I got the most. Um, but along, he also um, describes oak moss, lemon, pedigree. I have notes right here. Uh, bergamot, some lavender, rose, clary sage, vetiver, sandalwood. Um, I applied a little bit of the aftershave onto my hand yesterday, and um, the talc again was first, but then um, you got a little tiny bit of the alcohol um, scent um, kind of countering the talc, but. The, um, I definitely got the citruses, the lemon and the bergamot in a little bit of the dry down. And um, it did finish off with the sandalwood. Um, he did say that he didn't, he kind of left it more intentionally as an aftershave as far as as strong versus being as strong as his colognes. But, but the, um, I found the scent stuck around um, for quite a while. Um, even after having washed my hands, after I, I cleaned, I had eaten and I cleaned my dishes and, and, um, I could still I could still sense it on my skin so so it's it's still there regardless of whether or not he's classifying it as a as a color or not. but um it does say aftershave splash versus aftershave cologne um like his other products and it is crown king versus PAA so um maybe that makes a difference but it was very pleasant and and I really enjoyed it so going along with the shave it reminded me of um and not not in a bad way at all. It reminded me of my nana's house, my grandma's house. Um, anytime I smell powder, um, you know, any type of powdery scent, it's going to remind me of that, in a good way. In the in the sense that, um, in a comforting way. Um, you know, as with most people, um, you know, nana's house was was the place to be, um, where you you were always welcome and you were always safe and you were always. Um, you were always king. You were always king at grandma's house. So, um, I remember I would go into wash, go into her bathroom and wash my hands to eat or something, and she always had Dove soap. Um, 
and it, as you know, Dove is very powdery and, and even, you know, you can call it feminine, but um, not to say that this resembles Dove um, necessarily, but it, personally it just reminded me of that with the talc and the powdery scent. And it just took me back and, 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 and again, it made me appreciate the nostalgia um, that Douglas is dealing is addressing here. So um, right from the beginning, I knew I was going to enjoy it. Um, it's not a cologne scent. Um, again, it's 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 a it's a spin. It's an homage to those, the old school ones, the the Sun Up, which I again I'd never heard of, or you know, like he does with the Old Spice and the Aqua Velva with the Soccer Blue, and and um, you know, it's along those same lines, and I really really enjoyed it. So, um, being in the in the uh, Crown King formula, you know, oy, it's gonna be sorry, it's gonna be a lather monster, and this is you know I lathered it straight from the jar, and this and it was. It was amazing. It was an amazing lather. And um, I used the, the Savile Row from Shave the Man. And the, the whole experience, the feel, everything was just fantastic. Um, the after, I, then I applied the balm. The balm has a little bit of menthol, so, so it, uh, it was very soothing. Um, you know, I finished it off with that. And then the aftershave, or aftershave then balm. But um, again, the aftershave is, is just that. It's a splash. And the... Um, when I applied the aftershave, there was a menthol, just the menthol kick. I mean, you know, you get the alcohol kick as you do with most with most of his aftershaves, and you, know, you get that first shock, and then I go like this to kind of kill the the shock of the alcohol. But there was a menthol that just it reminded me of the, his pre-shave soaps that are you know you get that menthol, and my eyes will almost start watering because of how of how much menthol there is. And I actually got that with this aftershave splash, so be aware of that. Not in a bad way by any means. I enjoyed it. I just wasn't ready for it. Um, but it did. It did. It, it finished it. And then the balm, like I said, just finished everything off. And in his note, he says, uh, he talks about the balm. And, and uh, we use the best best skin food for a balm, including calendula and aloe vera are just two of them. And then he says, uh, let this is face turbation fuel. And you know what? He's right. Face turbation. It feels fantastic. Crown King products, amazing, amazing um, post shave, and uh, and so I really, um, really am enjoying, really am enjoying this product. So Douglas and Fran, thank you. And the deodorant, I've the, I've never used any of the artisan deodorants because honestly, because of the price, um, um, because the way, uh, you know, I go I'll go to Target and buy maybe the two for the two for ones whenever maybe Old Spice is on special or something like that or or um you know degree or something like that but um this is actually my first artisan um artisan made deodorant and i used it for the first time yesterday and i can tell you now that um i'm sold i'm sold um it's kind of weird after one use but i can just tell by the um by the performance of it and then and how it felt going on and just I don't there's just something just something sold me on it so i'll be i'll be using a lot more artisan type deodorants now um, because those the alcohol based ones and or the other ones are the, they're just cheap they're just cheap so um, but this the uh, other the main thing I also want to talk about was and I'm sorry it may be rambling I'm already eight and a half minutes but um, David Gonzalez had sent me when I went to to Pasadena a few weeks back with Maria um, we wanted to go look at uh, Damon's um, Christmas products and everything in the his decorations in the in the warehouse and. Um, you know, we obviously we stopped by the shop and David was working there with Zach, and uh, we were talking about how, you know, I haven't, I've been, I had just gotten the manga, or I'm sorry, the hawk, I had just gotten the hawk, and I was talking about, you know, how much I was enjoying it. You know, I've done my reviews and I, and I've talked about how much I've enjoyed it, and how aggressive and efficient it is versus you know using my double open comb, and, and so David says, you know. I want to get you. I want to start you using um, some stainless steel razors, so you feel the difference with weight and quality and and everything. And so I said sure. And he offered to send me um, since I had been talking about the hawk. He offered to send me his mongoose, and he also sent me his above the tie. I believe it's R two. Uh, yeah, R two. So it's an open comb as well. I haven't used this one. I'll use this one with the next shave. Um, but the first thing I noticed with this is the weight. I mean, it's hefty. It's hefty. Um, versus the versus this one, I mean, you could probably put and and it's in the handle mostly, obviously, but you could probably take three, four, five of these in order, and it still won't weigh as much as this one. Um, 
but and I in the beginning I attached little small videos I did of comparing the blade exposure of the two. Now I had heard that the mongoose is a milder razor, and I'm gonna tell you that this is this is the most mild razor I've ever used. Um, so much so that I actually um, I had to be in my and the weight was almost a distraction too, um, just because I, I had to tell myself not too much pressure, maintain your angle, um, and it was the weight was almost a distraction. But I'm sure I mean first first use. I mean I'm sure you would get used to it um, the more you use it. But um, but I had to be mindful of the angle because I really didn't feel much blade contact. I had to be mindful of the angle and make sure that. The, that I was getting the blade contact and what I kept noticing was after a, a stroke or two I would look and it re really looked like the product was clogging so I kept having and maybe after one stroke I'd have to get in and uh, dip it and rinse it and shake it to make sure that the water got in there and took the product out um, and that almost became a distraction as well um, almost like if you use a cartridge and you have you know the five blades and after one stroke, you have to shake it out because of the clogging. That's what I kept thinking while I was using this. Now, I could have been wrong. You uh, Mongoose veterans, comment and please tell me if you've had that issue. But um, I kept thinking that, that because I would use one and then I would feel like I wasn't getting that contact anymore. I'd look and it looked like the product was clogging. So I kept having to rinse and again, I, if you have to rinse after every one stroke, it's 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 too much of a distraction to me. Um, this one, um, I didn't have that issue as much with this one. Now, um, I I felt more aggressiveness with the hawk than I did with the mongoose, so it allowed. I I believe, again, when I reviewed this, the first word that came out of my mouth was efficiency, and um, I just didn't get that efficiency with this one as I do with this one now maybe I'm comparing you know I'm comparing you know Prius to Tesla maybe I mean they're both electric cars but they're both going to get the job done they're both going to get you where you need to go um but and I, I don't think Joe was trying to to I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure when he introduced this he wasn't trying to unseat this he was just trying to make something similar available to more to the masses and that's Admiral. There was a lot of flack I read about when this was coming out because, oh, he's copying the mongoose, blah, blah. But you know what? He made this sing the single edge available to many more people, much more attainable than this. Okay. Now, I do not regret getting this, but I wouldn't trade it for this. Not after, one, I mean, again, after one use. But I just wouldn't. That's just me. Now, comparing the two, obviously the weight is different. Um the the head the width of the head is similar the size of the head is fairly similar but this one is more aggressive and much much lighter so but another issue i had when i was loading the blade in here was i actually had to realign i had to remove and realign because um the um blade alignment was off after I reassembled it and I saw that it because the posts the posts on this head are shorter than the posts on this head so the blade wasn't staying in place as much so when I I applied I put the blade in then I put the base plate on and then I put the handle back on and somewhere in that process the blade moved so that there was more exposure on this side than there was on this side so I just had to disassemble it and make sure the blade stayed in place but the posts were shorter on this than they are on this which made the blade alignment an issue um, again mongoose rookie here first time user um, but just based on that after using this um, you know 25 bucks versus However much this one cost, David, I appreciate it. Thank you. But it only served to reaffirm my decision to get this one. So that was my first use of the Mongoose and my use of the Sundown products from Crown King and PAA. Again, Douglas Francis, thank you um, for including me in um, 
in getting these products. Um, you guys are a class act. Thank you. And everybody else, I hope you're well. And David, thank you for the hardware. Um, I'm going to shave the day recap uh, this one on the next one. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a little more aggressive, so I might try and do it after I have a little more growth. I only had two days worth of growth, um, so I wanted to use a milder of the two razors. And um, and uh, that's that's what happened. So everybody else, uh, I hope you're well. Um, thumbs up on the sundown. Um, try it. Definitely try it. And, um, you know, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. And um, everybody be well. Peace.